I did um, went to the University of Utah, finished my four-year degree in biology, went to grad school there, and went down um, to Miami. I'm actually in school right now. I have an associate's degree in criminal justice. Now I'm going to be a part of the degree in Homeland Security and Emergency Management. He comes looking dead and he'll take a picture of you guys and send it to Grandpa. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I didn't vote for Obama the first time. I mean, it's like a dog. This time, I just, I really don't like Obama. So. Yeah, but he's a businessman. I think he'll actually get us some chance. Maybe. Obama, just to be I forgot. You can send it to Grandpa. Even this whole Lydian thing. You know, I don't know. He pays me some security at 47 percent. He's a cutie. <laughs> My nephew and godson. Amazing. <laughs> That's good. I got a nice one. He's in the car. <laughs> it's like he's sleeping. He's gonna be a heartbreaker. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, oh wait. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Girls will be knocking down his. First reading is from First Corinthians. It says, Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own ways. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things. Love never ends. The second reading is from the book, The Prophet, and it states, Love one another, but make not a bond of love. Let it rather be a moving sea between the shores of your souls. Fill each other's cup, but drink not from one cup. Give one another of your bread, but eat from the same loaf. Sing and dance together, and be joyous, but let each of you be alone. Even as the strings of a lute are alone, though they quiver with the same music. Give your hearts, but not into each other's keeping, for only the hand of life can contain your hearts. And stand together, yet not too near together, for the pillars of the temple stand apart, and the oak tree and the cypress will not in each other's shadow. The vows which you are about to exchange serve as a verbal representation of the love you pledge to each other. For it is not the words which you will speak today which will bind you together as one, but it is the inner sense of love and commitment that each of you feels within your souls. Ed, do you take care of your wedded wife? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, and respect her? Will you share all life has to offer, your hopes and dreams, your achievements and disappointments with her from this day forward? If your answer is yes, say I do. I do. Would you like to read what you know with? In my classes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's an old Scottish proverb that says, When the heart is full of love, the tongue cannot speak. That's how I'm feeling at the moment. This is truly the happiest day of my life and the beginning of a marvelous adventure. The Lord does move in mysterious ways, and no one could have foreseen what is happening today. On this greatest of days, in the company of friends and family, gathered today, I can truthfully say, <laughs> this moment has been preordained by God. Here is to loving tomorrow to us. May we travel together through time. We alone count as none, but together we are one. For our partnership puts love to one.
take Ed to be your wedded husband? Will you love him, comfort him, honor him, and respect him? Will you share all life has to offer? Your hopes, your dreams, your achievements, and disappointments from this day forward. If your answer is yes, say I do. I do. Okay. Yeah, because I need my glasses too. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie, long ago you were just a dream, a prayer. And from the moment our paths crossed, you have surprised me, captivated me and amazed me. I have fallen in love with you again and again, countless times and without reservation. And I know that whatever lies ahead, we face it together. I promise to give you the best of myself and ask of you no more than you can give. I promise to respect your interests, desires and needs and to realise that these are no less important than my own. I promise to love you with all I have to give, completely and forever, to be faithful to honour to honour you, live with you and cherish you according to the commandments of God and the holy bond of marriage. You are my springtime, my hope and my joy. You are God's precious gift to me. Today I'm proud to marry my best friend and because of you I laugh, I smile and I dare to dream again. The wedding ring is an unbroken circle which symbolizes unending and everlasting love and is a visible symbol which represents your inner commitment to one another. May your life be blessed with everlasting happiness. And what token do you offer Karen that you will be true to his vows? <coughs> Karen, do you receive this ring as a pledge to be true to this vow? If so, say I do. I do. Bless this ring, which serves as a symbol of your love and commitment to each other. Take this ring and slip it on her hand. And say after me, receive this ring. Receive this ring. As a symbol and token. As a symbol and token. Of undying love and trust. Of undying love and trust. Okay. Piece of duck in there. With skin? Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. That's that's good. Good. Yeah, skin is the best part. It's crisp. It's like it Okay, nobody's going to help you put it back either. So. Nope. You're on your own, kid. You just roll it up. Toy sauce. Toy sauce.